All right. Hello, YouTube. Getting situated here. I ran up to like a minute and a half before I had to go long. I was actually at my desk with my computer. <laughs> Been a little cray cray today. Um, so let me get myself situated here. Wait for a couple of my chatters to get on here live. So if you're watching this as a recording, uh, you may want to scoot along a few minutes till we get the hellos out of the way. And honestly, to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. <laughs> Haven't quite decided yet. <clears throat> Mrs. Pagel, that's a new name. Welcome. Hey, Robin. Hi, Joan. How'd you like all that notice, Joan? Ha! Oh, my gosh. It's been a day. Hey, Glennis. I'll let you guys trickle in here. And actually, it'll give me time to think about what I want to do. I know I felt like streaming. I haven't streamed for a while. Now I just got to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. Hey, Jackie. Loving your new stuff, Jackie. The print. The other day was really cool with um, from your live. Hi, Linda. Hi, Stephanie. Looks like a new name. Is that a new name? I think so. Welcome, everybody. So, what to do, what to do. I showed you guys some of these watercolors last time. They're just still laying at my desk because I've been down here a few minutes to load some pans up and let those get hardened up for me. And um, a couple more that I ordered that I wanted to try are in, but I don't know. So I was playing with some swatches here the other night. I had about five minutes and ran wild. <laughs> Lolly Cunningham. Oh, cool. Welcome. Hey, April. So I did get a couple things that I, I wanted to try. I mean, watercolor or watercolor. We've all seen those and have those and whatever. Um, try to figure out how to lay these in there so I remember what the heck is what. I think I know, but sure enough, I put them in there. I'll forget what the heck they are. I'll put them in that order. Then I shall remember. And these can just go in here. How much can this thing hold? Let me move this out of the way. But I did want to try. I saw these the other day. Um, And I think they're like, um, what are those powders called? The purplish one in the middle. The swatch, you mean, Jackie? That's that Rembrandt Dusk Pink. And then I got a little bit of the um, Rivervale Handmade Watercolor in Phantom Rose, which is a, like an interference metallic over top of it, if that's the one you mean. I was playing with overlay and mixing those. Hey, John, uh, CB. Hey, Kath. Hey, Sally. Welcome. So let me grab a little piece of, I keep this B paper here that's cut, cut down to five by seven. That's how you buy it. Handy for like playing like this. So let me, I got these two to play with. They're from Ruby Mountain Paint. And they're called Pigment Salt Sprinkle. So I'm guessing these are like the, um, help me with the name. I have a bunch of them. The powders and the little jars you squirt. Uh, what the hell are they called? Um, these. Ken Oliver. This one's me liquid metal. Of course, I picked up the wrong one. But you know those, um, Lord have mercy, color bursts. Thank you. These things, they're kind of like that. They're powdered pigment. But this is powdered pigment with salt in it. 
So just for shits and giggles, as we say, I want to see what, uh, yeah, brush O2. I was thinking of color burst. So the, I, I have both of them, actually. Um, let me see what's happening. All right. Oops. Move that out of the way. Now let me throw, just throw a little bit of water on here. That comes out in a real fine, fine mess. That might not even be enough. All right. Well, I got the green one and the blue one. They come in these little screw cap tins. This one's called green. Ruby Mountain Paint Company on Etsy. Hey, Eileen. Oh, no, Linda. You might have to wet that and just kind of, you know, roll it off to peel it. Hey, Kate. Okay. Welcome. So I'm just going to drop some of this green down here. And it's got salt in with the pigment. So it should give you an additional reaction to what you normally see with these. And you can even see that there's something else in there, right? They had yellow and red too, but I figured I just... I want to try a couple of them. Yay. Right off the bat, pigment fingers. I'm not answering that, Eileen, for fear I may offend someone. <laughs> Sticking my hand in my water jar trying to get that off. But yeah, they did move pretty well. And I can see there's a little purple breaking out in the blue and yellow and blue and the green. See if I can get these up high enough for you to see what's happening. Here's the blue one. See the purples up there kind of spreading out, wicking away from the center. I'm going to add a little bit more water where the pigment's kind of thick there. And now I'm going to sit it aside. I know, right, Linda? I never know what the hell I'm doing. I love the mystery. <laughs> the exploration. And the screw-ups. The best part, the screw-ups. <laughs> um, I've been so busy this week that I have not still been able to get signed up for my link for Arteza. So I don't want to show those products yet. I'll do that when I get that squared away. It's on my calendar to do this week. Yeah, they're, they're similar to Magicals, but they have, instead of just the pigment, they also have salt in here. So you should get that salt reaction too. So we'll see. I set it aside. I'll leave that to you, Eileen, to remind me to go uh, um, pick that up later. So I got one of these brushes to try. I don't use big brushes much, but this one kind of intrigued me. It's a Da Vinci. Is it Ethergraph? Is that what's on the end? See this metal tip on the end? You can actually, well, it was using, it was working the other day. You can actually draw with the silver tip, but today it's not making a mark. What the hell? Oh, there we go. So you can do, um, of course, I can't sketch because I can't draw, but you can do light sketches, real faint, but it's there with this metal tip that's on the end of the brush. I probably would have done better with a smaller one, but it's not bad. Um, anywho, let's get that out of the way. I think... I almost want to bring out my um, jelly plate. I saw, gosh, who was it? Birgit, Birgit Noopsen. Sorry if I'm hacking up your name. Um, but I saw her using alcohol inks on the jelly plate and that kind of intrigued me. So I think I might 
play around with that a little bit today and uh, see what happens. Yes, jelly plate. <laughs> and I have these two new wooden stamps I might play with in there. They're from Tally Boutique. T-A-H-L-I Boutique. No space on Etsy. They're in India. Because of the virus in India and the regulations, they have um, some trouble being able to ship it promptly. She's very reliable, great customer service. And she does have a shipping option where if you pay a little bit more, she can send it via a method that is more um, and more of an express thing that they acknowledge and get those moving a little bit faster. Okay, so let me, here's that brush for that thing. That, I mean, the, the container for that brush. Uh, pure Russian squirrel hair, ethergraph. I was right. Metal point tip at the end of the handle for painting and sketching black matte lacquer handle. Yeah. There you go. You're enlightened. <laughs> um, got a whole bunch of crap out here I do not need. Get a little bit of elbow room. Don't need my glue sticks for jelly printing. I am going to grab... I know, I have a few, Eileen. I don't have a lot of those. I actually have to figure out where the hell I moved my alcohol. Oh, I didn't move them yet. All right, then there's that. Um, I got some of these new ones, too, that I've never even opened because I wasn't in an alcohol ink mood. <laughs> um, so I'll grab some of these. And this, this one, that one, and let me grab um, another tray of these. Oh my! Oh, got myself wedged into a corner there. It's never good. All right. Let me see. Let me pull this out a little bit more. See some elbow room here. Is my camera somewhat straight. Yeah. Eminem. Hello. Hey, Dot. Now, where do I have those copy refills? I wonder. Oh, I see. I see them. Oh, and I see the gold I wanted to. I'll just grab a few of these. Oh, I'm going to move these to one of my metal file drawers over there. Apparently, I stopped short of alcohol inks. So I got these, right? We can maybe throw a little bit of that in there. And this is the best gold, the Pinata by Jacquard. That's the best gold, I think. And I got a few of these when they came out. The glitter color shifting ones from Marabou. And this will be really good because as per usual, I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to throw them on there and uh, see if I can pull them back up. And I'm not sure how this paint that's on here may or may not interfere. Um, Gunmetal. This is rose gold. I think you sent me that, Z. Oh, Z said she's lurking. She's got to update her computer or something before she streams. All right, I'm going to grab. Yeah, I think it will because it's all dry, Eileen. But that may make for a, a cool effect. Let me grab some tags to use from the tag department. <laughs> Didn't know there was such a thing, did you? I have had this box of tags and will have this box of tags for a long time. I got these for Chelsea's wedding. She got married six years ago, I think it is. And um, 
we made, we stained them with some watermarks with some uh, vintage photo distress ink and had a collage to Maryland crab soup recipe onto here that made it look all old and used with a twine on it and tied them to a crab mallet that had their names and the date and all that burnished into the um, mallet. We still use those. Okay, let's start something. Um, so that, whoops, that's just black. And that's just white. That's just blue. I want to just have glitter ones over here. Rainbow, glitter. That's silver. Okay, I got three glitters and a rainbow. So we'll put some regular old stuff down here first. Um, and I think I'm supposed to blow it around, aren't I? I think so, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use a can of air. All right, can of air. All right, let's just throw in some of this crap down here. This is just Ranger Raspberry. Well, let's mix something with that. Indigo. I don't want to get it dark. Let's try this. Stream. How bad can that be? That blends and makes it really pretty purple. Cool. Yeah, I know. That's my plan, Eileen. <laughs> I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning. They've had to leave for work travel. And um, had to get up at 3. And... Uh, let's throw one of these down here. Green, pink, gold. Gold, bronze, green. Violet, blue, green. Let's try this one. If I start feeling woozy, I'll, I'll move on. Now, do I have to open these? Any? Oh, no, it just comes out. I remembered when I put these on black paper, I didn't like, it's kind of hard to get out of there. I didn't like the pool of clear stuff it left around them. Actually, I'm going to turn this fan on. That's a little bit much <laughs> between the canned air and the alcohol. It's not going to be good. So I need to put more on here, don't I? More something. What's this color? Oops. I don't think I'm a fan of these. Seriously? Let's try not to impale oneself while opening this up. Sweet Moses. Yeah, and Dave's not here to come and get me. Pick me up off the floor. Let's do that. Let's do a little. Uh, I need to put something else in there. Why is that stuck? Oh, it came. Oh, the bottle leaked. That's probably not good. I'm not hurrying because this has to be dry. To pick it up because I got to put a layer of paint on it to pick it up. Um, what else do I have over here? Let's put this one in. I don't even know how these open. I've never opened them. Oh, look, very complicated. 
a twisty. <laughs> Oakley will go for help. Oh, great. Hey, Amalia. Oh, that's cold, too. Look, there's frost on my jelly plate. Great. <laughs> Maybe that's why she was using a straw. Don't do this yet. <laughs> Wait for me to try it. Is this open? Oh, for God's sake. I saw somebody else doing a video on these saying she did not like the containers. I think I'm going to agree on that. Get some of this as rainbow. All right, I'm just going to let that dry. And I wonder if I can actually put a, a mark in it. That's how you find out. Oh, it did. Why not keep going? Because I don't know how to stop. And that made my, my wood block all pretty. Hey, Z. I'm wondering, you guys this here, how you're talking about how the virus and all is doing. I'm hoping that we're able to do a family Thanksgiving this year. Chelsea had knee surgery last Thursday, and I'm going over tomorrow morning early uh, to help her out with the kids while Pete's at work and Dave had to go and travel so I got to figure out how to get my mom set up for success while I'm gone I'm just holding this up so the fan can hit it just trying to talk in the middle of it all try to distract from the boredom if you're watching the recording you might want to scoot ahead all right so now I'm going to take um, Titan Buck as a nice neutral color for the pickup for this. And uh, you know what? We're just going to see what the hell happens. That's what we're going to do. Get rid of these very large paint boogers. It might mix with some of this alcohol ink. I do not know. Since it wasn't really dry completely. You know how alcohol ink, sometimes it doesn't really dry. It's just sort of little. Um, hey, Shauna. It just sort of uh, is tacky. It's not wet, but it's not dry. It's just tacky. See, I love this bone folder you sent me. Very cool. So let's do this. She didn't look like on the Instagram video that she had to rub this that much to pull that up. But I don't know if it was just sped up or edited. So I'm going to do what I think I need to do first. And if I screw it up, uh, I think she'll go from there. Hey, Lori. Welcome. All right. Let's see what comes up on here. Oh, that pulled up most of the... Uh, well, a lot of the bronze that was down there. Oh, that looks like it's cleaning the plate pretty much. Hmm. 
I don't think I like the texture of it. It looks kind of clumpy a little bit. And I don't have that many of the wispy bits in it. Maybe I'll try it with a straw and see what happens. But that did pull up some of the bronze. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're not um, not floating my boat. Oh, shit. Oh, there's one. Gail is here. <laughs> Let's see if I can get more of this off. Jackie, on that one pull you did the other day, I didn't have time to actually watch it um, yet, but did you use Seth's Eyes Ink inks in the little nail polish bottles on your jelly plate to get that look like the, one of the last layers on there in a darker color? Next time, use a little alcohol to blend the color. Well, you know what that means. Means gotta find that. Oh, I see it from here. How is that possible? Wow. Must be my day to play the lottery. <laughs> oh, I just saw this sitting over here. Here's a science experiment. Remember my um, coffee with the mica in it? Didn't have distilled water. Goner. Um. All right, here's a little bit of alcohol. And how the hell am I going to do this without a disaster? We shall see. Okay, I'm going to hold that down. Um, where would a straw be? I tell you what, when I reorganize... Let's see if I'll be as lucky with the straws as I was with the uh, alcohol. I know where they were, and I didn't really do much over in that vicinity, so they shouldn't be far. Oh, here they are. Ha! Huh. I'm telling you. It's all going good today. Oh, and I found the pipettes I was looking for. Oh. Is it going to possibly get any better? I have a big one and a small one. I better bring both because I think I might hyperventilate with the big one. All right. So let's... The eyes ink pigments are pretty fluid, so you get the cell effect when you use them on the plate. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's got mold floating in it. Don't put much of the alcohol ink on it and they should spread better. All right. Maybe I need a bigger puddle here and there of each color. Oh, crap. Cut it on my finger already. I was trying to avoid that. I don't even know why. It might be the um, metallics that are making it get ooky like that. Ooky, that's a new word. I only had a few of these, so guess what colors they are. <laughs> Lord. Let me try the little one. <laughs> that gives me more spidery ones, but ooh, that takes the wind out of you a little bit more than the big one. Um, huh, huh, huh. Let's try one of these.
how light, not really lightheaded yet. I'm sure I, it would come to that. <laughs> Eeks. Um, you know what? I need lighter colors. Let me grab another one of these. Here. All right. What's this? Sunshine. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Eileen. Okay, that's not happening, at least without Dave here. Honeycomb. I'm just making big blobs. I'm not getting much of the. What am I doing wrong? And that looks like poop. Back to the. Back to the can. Yeah. Don't like that color. What's this? Wild plum. Oh, man. Too much. Now you tell me. Yeah, I think I'm basically making a quite the mess. I'm going to stand that up for the fan to hit it. <laughs> Put some pure Oh, I forgot the alcohol. Son of a bitch. Let's just throw it on there. Let's see what happens there. That's got to be a holy hell mess. <laughs> Birgit's probably having a, a stroke at the moment. Which I may join her with this. Uh... Yeah, I think I think we're better off to start over, clean the plate, and hope for the best. Let's just put this down here and try to get rid of this monstrosity. Oh, great. It's coming through. Okay, so here's how not to do that. I know I'm making mud. I can always count on Eileen to point out the obvious. <laughs> All right, now let me put down a little bit of paint. Oops. oops, oops. Oh, that went flying away. Hey, if I wasn't on here making mud, Eileen, who else would do this for you? <laughs> I might be done with this in a couple minutes. <laughs> This is my new jelly plate, too. I'm probably screwing that up. Sally, hey, Patty. What is that thing you have your jelly plate on? It's a 12 by 12 piece of plexiglass that I bought on um, Amazon. And then I just put duct tape around it because the edges are kind of sharp. But it holds the jelly plate really well. It's sliding on the paper with the glass on here, but the jelly plate does not move off of that plate. Lord. <laughs> I 
Okay. All right. So now, go back to stream. And they should put a little bit on. So let's just put a little bit on. What's this? Watermelon. Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh, buffering. Oh, damn, I can't get that one open. Wait, Moses. Raisin. That one's about ready to... What the hell is this happening to these? Hang on. Let me get a... Not a good time to have to stop and clean something up. Put these on my plate, but... You know, you got to do what you got to do. All right. See, it's still big blobs. Why am I not getting more leggy stuff? Are my initial blobs too large? Put an elastic band around the lid so you can get a grip. Oh, that's a good idea. Like one of those little, I have stuff up in my kitchen for my lids, but. Not sure about all this. <laughs> Whoa. Well. That came out of there pretty fast. There was a little bit of blending solution still on there. Let's see what happens if we do this. Uh, nothing good. Let's just say that. I can't wear a mask and blow on this. <laughs> you gave yours away, Allie. <laughs> hey, Jan. Yeah, mine are too. Too big. Son of a bitch, I'm telling you. Hang on. All right, let's let's just start over again. Um Yeah, I'm not having any fun. Are you having any fun? I know I'm not. If I'm not, you're probably not. I'll have to go back and try to play closer attention. I just saw the Instagram video. I'll have to check out her YouTube channel to see if she has more in a real-time speed so I can see what I'm screwing up here. Smaller puffs. And even smaller amounts of alcohol. All right, I'm going to clean this off, put a little blending solution down, less blending solution, a couple of drops, smaller straw, smaller puffs, smaller everything. <laughs> yeah, not my fave. Okay. Okay. few drops of that go over in opposing corners and let's put something dark on here actually I probably should start start light first right is this that grayish color that I thought I would like well no that's like a darker blue little puffs. Wow. <laughs> Sweet Moses. I will be hyperventilated, brain dead, and have a stroke, and who knows what else at this rate. But let's carry on. 
after this one, it's either going to be do more or put it away. I know which way I'm leading. <laughs> put a drop of alcohol in each. Put a drop of alcohol in each. Alcohol or blending solution. I don't think the alcohol is going to drop. I think it's going to be more of a splat. Oopsie, it's a four. Let's try that. And let's try this. Oh, shit. Ah! I like doing alcohol inks on my ceramic tiles and those porcelain Christmas ornaments and all that good stuff. Not having fun here. Got to tell you. Use a pipette for the alcohol. That's a good idea. Um, I have this real fine one. Of course, I probably can't even. No. I'm going to have to take the whole lid off which is dangerous. That looks terrible. <laughs> Not so good. I don't, maybe the fans blowing this is drying it out too quick. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Call me a quitter. I don't care. Jeez, jeez. I'm not liking any anything that's happening here. And my time down here is too precious and far to sit here and do something I don't like. So let's just start over and pretend the first 20 minutes didn't happen or whatever it is. 40 minutes. Oh my. I'm going to put a little bit more. You know, I got to try it. Of this rainbow. See what happens. Blow across the plate instead of down. Oh, <gasps> shit. Took the whole freaking lid off. I'm not having a good day. Has anyone else noticed? Or is that overstating the obvious? Oh, my God. And you know what? I don't see any sparkle in that that came out of there. So that was all the crap. Sweet Jesus. Make it stop. Make it stop. That's kind of pretty. <laughs> That'll be my masterpiece for the day. It's a paper towel where I wiped up my screw-ups. Okay. Let's see if I can get rid of some of this. Coming in late, it's beginning. Well, I'm not using anything for the alcohol inks right now, so we're done. Maybe it's a good thing I haven't been down here lately. <laughs> oh. uh. Just run out of hours in a day. Let me reread this while I'm doing this. What's the answer? 
Don't use a straw with alcohol ink. Use one of the things that blow air as you can exhale the alcohol and you must mean oh, inhale the alcohol into your lungs. Well, I wasn't, uh, I was trying to be conscious of not breathing in through the straw, but, and I don't have one of those little squeezy things, but I think on the video, she was using a straw. And I actually, I think somebody made a comment about getting one of those tools. I think it's a ranger tool. Best pull of the day. <laughs> ay, yeah, yeah. All right, let me get rid of this crap. By crap, I mean lovely art supplies. Yeah, I got to agree with not being a fan of these containers. I know some people rave and rave about these alcohol inks. I haven't really truly given them a fair play, as we can see. But I have touched them long enough to agree with the container issue. This out of my way. And this here. Oh, a lot of crap pulled out for that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, See, on my title for this video, I said, you know, I don't have any idea what I'm going to do. That was true. That was true. And I still don't know. But here are these three. Yeah, I don't see anything I like about those. And I loved hers. Okay, lesson learned. Stick with what you know. <laughs> yeah, really, Mama said. Hey, Judy. I was trying alcohol inks on the jelly plate. I've seen it look really cool. Mine was a total fail. Um, apparently I don't have that knack or have to practice a lot more and just got disgusted with it. So I stopped. Um, but I was saying I don't like the lids on the Marabou alcohol ink. I do not. So maybe what I'll do, I really do need to get some more, um, APC is made, so maybe I'll just have to suffer through. What time is it? 2.20. I don't even know if I can get this done in enough time because I'm going to jump off of here 3.30 or 4. Um... <laughs> Looking for my silver. Oh, right here on my desk. Hello. My silver Sumi ink. Got to turn the fan off now that I think I'm not going to pass out. Yeah, Sandra's coming on at 4 30, um, Amalia. Yeah, I laid them off to the side. I might see about doing something with them, but they're they're still a little sticky. You know how alcohol inks can get. Okay, let's um, where's my big flat brush? Ah. This, one. this one will do. I'm going to.
I need a little, I'll put it in this. Get this out of my face. Get out of my face. And so I thought I'd just do a collage so I can make more ATCs and actually do something that I need to do anyway. Hey, neighbor Jean. Yep, the tree's down. Yeah, uh, just Friday, actually. Fri yeah, Friday, they took it down. That was a spectacle to watch. I posted some uh, short videos of a couple of the big cuts of how they cut one huge branch very high up in the tree. They cut it down and had it tied off and arced over another big branch that they weren't cutting off. And it would have dropped right on our sunroom roof. But as it dropped down, the way they had it tied off, the, the leaves on the very outside of the branch just barely skimmed across the sunroom. It, they wrapped it all the way around the yard and laid it down in a real narrow alley on the other side. It's pretty interesting to watch how they did it. Oh, you used your mink. Oh, cool, Eminem. Nothing like some shiny stuff. Okay, I'm going to wet this paper. I'm just going to put some of the silver black ink down. I really liked how that looks in the background of these. I want this pretty wet. So I'm going to get that nice little cloud effect. Ooh, that was probably too wet. I'm telling you, I'm dangerous. Danger to myself today. You guys are very brave for even watching. You know, some days you got it. Some days not so much. This is the silver black ink. And this is watercolor paper. And it's got a sheen of water on it. And I'm just going to do a little bit of scripting. This is all going to be in the background of this, right? I love how that blooms out of there. Is that waterproof, Patty? Um, you know what, April, I don't remember. Most of this is going to get covered up. So, again, not being that precious with it. Um, let me put some here and we'll come back and try it. I don't remember. That on brush. This is one of my Lebanon brushes. This might be one of my favorites to script with. It's the three quarter inch. I think this one's elk, actually. All right. So I gotta let this dry, but look how cool that looks. Oh, watch me flub this up. With that silvery blue coming to the surface and that gray cloud that's puffed out around everything in the water. And if you remember, when I did this, the last time I did a collage, headless violin, hello, <laughs> um, I bet that hurt. Um, when I did this with coffee uh, on the paper, I wet it with coffee and used this ink. If you remember it wicked in a totally different way. You didn't get this grayish cloud around everything. It just looked like spider webbing. It was a totally different movement in it. Are you sure that's your favorite? Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> I'm not 100% positive, Z, but I do, I do pick that one up a lot. <laughs> Let this dry a little bit more. And while she's a drying, I will um, start looking at some bits to throw on there. I got stuff stacked up all over the place. I was playing with those 
dip pens, nibs, and have some real fine little bits of scripting on here, here and there. I might tear little pieces of that up. Oh, look, Eileen. Now I can continue. <laughs> Hi. And this is pretty cool with these gold stamped on there. And that's pretty cool. Oh, this is better. That's better even. All these are good. <laughs> and I like this with that script, gold script foiled on there. Just might use some of that. I already got these in strips. Might use some of that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Xander's birthday was yesterday. A little bit of that. Maybe a little bit of that. Maybe a strip or two of this. Oh, maybe on the coffee paper. I blame this all on Jackie. It's her fault almost exclusively. Oh, look at that one. I love that piece. I hate, to, I'm going to copy this before I use it. And I know that won't come out shiny like that. But that piece was really cool. That was. What was that? I don't even remember what that was a picture of that I wet with coffee and then it ran. I'll have to try to figure that out because that's worth that's worth a do over right there. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my. Don't like the red foil. I think we already discussed that. Well, here's some that Jackie sent me. I might be able to put little strips of that in there. Or even this. I'll use that one this time. I'm not looking at the chat at the moment. That's a good one to throw. Little teeny, 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 tiny strips of that through and through there. Possibly. Hey, Norma. Hey, Kathy. Um, all right, let's see. What else do I have here? Well, maybe I can tear up some of these that I... Well, no, that would have... They're better for collages. Because these are going to be too big a piece to put for little, little bits on there. These are from the scripting class, which, by the way, Robin's got another one open, round two. I think it might be uh, recordings from the first one and then another live session uh, for the next two classes coming up separate from that. Yeah, these are better for collage. And I want to copy a couple of these that look really I thought, pretty cool. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. What do we have in here? Oh, I have these washi tapes that I made. Put them out there. Look, Eileen, bigger black and white stripes. You know, some of those might fall into here. Z, I need to remember, I'm going to leave this out because I need to remember if I have this red paste. I don't remember if that's one of the ones I got from you or not. Um, but I gotta put that out in my face so I remember to have a little look see on that. I'm trying to remember when the hell. I think I moved all those pastes over to a different drawer. <laughs> oh my. I know, I might throw a little of that in there. Just to have something different. Maybe that. Oh, maybe one of these little black foiled. Oh, I got two of them. Look at that.
You know what? I'm going to get this son of a bitch in there if I got to. One way or the other. Oh, and I said, you know what I said. We don't have to go over that. I forget you're listening. Um, do you have any of that in the shop, Z? If you do, hang on to one and I'll go order it later. Maybe we'll put turquoise and purple with this old stuff in there. Mix it up a little. Oh, look, here's a third one. All right, that ought to be enough to mess with. I made those and I never have used them. Or maybe I used them in a collage. Those were some of the papers that Jude sent me from New Zealand. I had more. Oh, here's a whole big chunk of that. I guess I could cut a piece off of there if I want more. Okay, good enough. Let's see where we are. Oh, I'm going to use those first. Those bitches are going down, let me tell you. Oh. Really? There we go. Look at that. Okay. This should be dry enough. I'm going to roll it the other way and kind of unfurl it a little bit. <laughs> I'm very colorful today. All right. Sheesh. All right, let's start with these. <laughs> uh, I thought I pulled out three. Are you kidding? All right, close enough. We'll start with two. Okay, the fan's about to go. This one grind me crazy. Uh, Deli for gluing. Get my glue sticks out here. April, did you get your package yet? I think April was here. I know she was here. I don't know if she's still here. All right, I'm just going to put this here in this. Maybe we'll just go all the way up. We'll put that down that edge. And let's put this over here. Kind of in the middle. Don't ask me why. I'm letting that fuzzy white edge hang off so I can get rid of that at some point. Um, this one's kind of crooked. So I think what I'll do is... Not yet, huh? I can't remember what day I sent it. Yeah, it should be on the way. This will never be round. Why don't I even bother? Not the day to try it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my. You know, some days you eat the bear and some days the bear eats you. So I guess we're going to have a bear with a full belly, full belly today. Once he gets done with me. I would be quite a substantial meal. 
No, I kind of like that moon shape. Actually, I might use that. You don't know. Okay. This just might be one of them days. And these, I use that wood stamp and put little bronze metallic. Um, I stamped on the piece of paper before I cut them up. So they each have little rings somewhere on them. When I made this tape, I like that one with the little red bits in it. That one's got red in it. Okay, let's see what happens here. I'm going to cut these white edges off, though. And this one, good enough. I think that's going to be answered from here on out. Good enough. Oh, oh. And I got a pork shoulder and some fresh green beans and red potatoes in my ninja. It's not a crock pot, but I'm using it as a crock pot feature today. Go up this blank space with this. This is sticky tape. Better, better sticky. All right. Gonna have to get my pokey tool. Uh, yeah, Jeanette, it's um, Tally Boutique, T-A-H-L-I Boutique, all one word on Etsy. She's out of India. I don't know which way that goes, but that feels th this way is right. All right. Let's press on, shall we? Do I want to put purple in there too? Maybe not. Maybe not. Now that I got this in here, <laughs> I'm going to be hosed up. Zodiac Stampin' Bronze over Robin's. Uh, this was one of her printables in um, October. Oh, thanks, April. There's the link, Jeanette. Too many verticals in here, but I'm gonna chop those up anyway, so it'll be all right. 
I think. Today I make no guarantees, no promises. I make no promises. Hmm. I wanted to put some of this in there for color. I just might do it anyway. Now where's my other black circle? There you are. It goes this way. I might put this somewhere up in here. So it'll be a little bit on one card. But then the second card will be almost all of that. So maybe I'll move it down here and intersect with this. Maybe we'll do that. See, this is good to see everybody to see me screw up and have an off day. Everybody has off days. You just cuss a little bit and change directions and keep on plowing. <laughs> Eminem, uh, that is the proper word is used. Past tense. They're on there. <laughs> They're not coming up now. On my desk. Gail, too bad Gail is not here. She had me quite a list going for me today. I got to keep reminding myself I'm cutting it all up. It doesn't matter. What goes where? I might cut out this. One of these. See, that's got that um, wooden stamp on it with the um, Viking calendar on it. shall I put you? I don't want this one to be almost all of that. Maybe I'll put you there. Or do I cut you in half and do a half and half thing somewhere? It's too big there. Oh, what the heck. Let's just throw her down here. No, this is going to be cut up for ATCs. This won't have a focal point or be a final project, a one-piece project. I'm going to cut this bad boy up for some more Etsy cards, which basically are ATCs. Oops. See, this bit underneath here is kind of boring. So that's what I'm looking like, covering that up. All right.
these are those stamps that my favorite mod, Eileen, <laughs> sent me. God love her. Um, I love them all. I just like to harass Kayla. Um, I had stamp via scripting stamps. And I stamped them. I don't remember if these I just stamped in regular ink. And I think these I printed off on a laser printer. And um, foil them. Foil them. She's here. Tracy, hey, I just used your brush earlier doing this scripting on the background of this collage. Oh, shoot, is this the right one? Oh, yeah, okay. It is on a carrier sheet. All right. So this is really fine paper that that was on. I think that might have been, I don't know if that was... That, I think that's just tissue. I think that's thinner than onion skin. And I put it with a repositionable glue stick on a regular piece of copy paper to put that through the copier. So this, I'm going to use the collage with the wet glue on it, the collage stick, not the glue stick. So if you guys have any questions about Lebanon brushes, that's Tracy Lebanon here in chat. Hit him up. My coupon code for 20% off his website is good through the end of October. It's my first name, Patty, P-A-T-T-I. And I'll link his shop uh, or maybe one of the mods can put a link in chat so you guys have it now. But I'll link it afterwards. It's Lebanon Paint Brushes. If you Google that, you'll find it. L-E-B-E-N-Z-O-N. -E -N -E All right. Oh, no. All righty. Let's see. Which way does that go? You never really know. Let's assume it's this way. We're just going to put it any old place for now. That goes really translucent. So sticky, though. Um, we should do a little, a little more of that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good Lord. Thanks, Eileen. Oh, you know what? I wanted to mention to you guys. Um, if you've not yet, I posted this on Facebook. I'll probably get put in Facebook jail. But um, if you've not yet seen The Social Dilemma, I saw it on Netflix. I don't know if it's available anywhere else or not. You should give yourself 94 minutes to listen to this. And I mean, some of this I kind of knew and suspected, but it's really interesting and scary at the same time. And if you, well, before the lockdown, when people go out and about and act like normal people, you could already see some of this happening. People walking into telephone poles, obsessed by their phone and, can't pick their nose up away from their phone and yeah it's Giotto Giotto glue stick and this one is a Giotto collage stick it's got a liquid glue and a dauber top to it the other one the bigger one is just a glue stick it's a very sticky sticky glue stick
Oh my. Okay. Well, but anyway, you should give yourself 94 minutes to watch this show. The Social Dilemma. I actually find myself doing some of the things that it's that we're being programmed to do. But I don't feel like what I do look and watch is, is what I want to look at. It's not something that it's... I have things forced down my throat with ads and stuff. I don't engage on the ones I'm not interested in. But it does train itself, the algorithms, to bombard you with stuff that you should be interested in due to your uh, previous browsing history and posts and what you click on and blah, 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 all that stuff. But that's the business model of these companies. And they also touched on fake news, which if you watch both sides of news, what I call both sides of news, the main stations and then a Fox station, you will definitely have your eyes open of what you don't hear on the main news media or see that you will see on the alternate ones. Good Lord, this get here we go. Now I got her. Netflix, yeah. It was really pretty interesting. All right. These are very, very tricky to work with. It's really thin, fragile tissue. And then the gold foil, you know, that's not anything that's big and strong. Yeah, I don't talk about anything political, what my beliefs are, who I'm voting for, none of that. I don't do any of that on social media. Um, and I have blocked and paused and snoozed a whole bunch of people because people are crazy with their posts on either side. And I don't want to see that crap. I uh, am not interested in all that. Bull crap, which is kind of what I feel like most of it is. But that's just me. All right, didn't I have another piece of this down in here somewhere? Ooh, that's nice and shiny to put on there. I want to have this to brighten it up with the white background. I thought I had um, another stamp of this, a different shape stamp of this. Maybe not. All right, let me clean up here a little bit because the sticky stuff's all over. Yeah, right, Eileen. And, and a lot of times don't have um, backs. They're so tainted or skewed one way. Um, oh, oh, don't. I do have my opinions. Trust me. But um, I don't voice them publicly. Um, but um, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy getting crazier. And I'm not just talking about politics. I'm talking about the whole world with stuff you're seeing. I'm testing this for April. It's lifting back up, April. That silver ink's lifting back up. See, I remembered. <laughs> um, maybe I should do little circles of this. Here, 
here and there. Hey, well, I'm I don't post political stuff. Oh, I know. I'm with you, Judy. I have uh, close friends of mine who vehemently disagree with my beliefs. And that's fine. That's America for now that we're allowed to do that. Um, Ladder's not going to make it, so I'll have somebody to hold my spot. <laughs> See, that's my plan. I do have a plan. These are beauty mess. I'm just going to keep punching the whole works while I'm, I'm doing it. And this, I get some half circles in here too out of this. There we go. Put that little bit over here. You can use that for something else. Uh-oh. Buffy's back, huh? All right. This one left me a little scraggly edge right there. Oh, that worked. That worked. Some other one over here. Okay, let's see what we got. Just want to get a little more, a little more shiny stuff in here. Like maybe put one down in here. That's kind of dead down there. I should put something else under and then bring that over it. Oh, where's that one piece I cut out? Is this it? I wonder if I just put that down there. Or maybe that way, and I can cut this last. Because when I cut these up, I have about a quarter of an inch left down here. If I put it that way, I can cut that more of a dead spot there out. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I need a clean piece of deli. I'm to show this. Pit. I, you know, I thought about that a minute ago, Eileen. And I thought, Eileen will remind me. Darn if you didn't. Let me see if they're dry enough. Okay, to be honest, I don't see much of a salt effect in here. Um, that I see when I do salt, but I use bigger crystals. I use these actually. Jacquard salt crystals. They're pretty, they're larger than kosher salt. I don't know if you can see those or not. Yeah. But here they are. I mean, they're very pretty, but I don't see, unless it's just that texturizing bits in there. So these, I'll show you guys what these are. I like that light edge there with the purple showing and that more tealy color showing. These are by B Ruby Mountain Paint Company on Etsy, and they're the pigment salt sprinkles. I got the blue and the green to try them. So they're very much, I think, like the um, Brusho or the Ken Oliver ones. What are they called? I just had them out here. Oh, crap. Color burst. All right, like these. They're just powder in a little jar. But that those supposedly have salt in it, so you get that salt effect, which I honestly don't see. Nope, I don't either, Eileen. Got to tell you. So I wanted to go this way for that edge to get cut off. When we'd have to do that. All right. All righty. See, I'm going to try to get your package. I don't know if I'll get to the post office tomorrow. I got to leave. I got to get up at five o'clock tomorrow morning. Ugh. 
and um, take care of the dogs, take care of my mom, leave here, get a shower, get some stuff together, and head over to Chelsea's at 7. And then I'll stay with her and the kids till Pete gets home. Chelsea had knee surgery last Thursday. And um, me, my brother, and my nephew are taken turns to go over and help her with the kids who most of you know they're one and three and of course she's supposed to be off of her foot <laughs> so there you have it they'll probably kill me <laughs> I should have started taking Geritol weeks ago <laughs> God love them I got a couple Little things I'm taking them to entertain the little rascals with. They're pretty good, actually. They love to do any kind of activity or project or... Imag I'll try these and see if they are or not, Eileen, if they're permanent. Where the hell did I put it? Hang on. Must hydrate. Um, where's the water? Let me use this little water bottle. And let me move this out of harm's way. And let's add a little water. Nope, not permanent. Mm -mm. These, I think, are watercolor pigment. I don't know. Are the Ken Olivers permanent? Or not? No. No, okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, let me back up. Where do I want to put you? Hmm. Maybe I'll put you up. Oops. Maybe I'll put you up there. Maybe I won't if it doesn't cooperate. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That stuck to a little bit of glue and pulled some of the foil off of there, but that's okay. It'll look um, distressed. Yeah, that's it. Like me, I'm distressed. I gotta put this fan on. No matter what it blows, I'm gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna have to deal. Oh, hell. here we go. We're dealing. We're dealing. Don't anybody worry. We're dealing. <laughs> um, It's probably going to go there. Maybe I'll just put that one right there. I got I kind of have an idea of where um, uh, these are going to land where I cut them. Because I've done them so many times. I kind of know. Um. where it's going to fall ish just going to plop that one right in there actually I'm going to do it kind of on a diamond diagonal I love these Jackie that you sent thank you very much um Gosh, I feel like my, my brain's not working. Maybe I will throw a couple of these little bits in there. I'm going to leave a little edge of black around it, like I do the surfboards, so it kind of frames it. These will be easier to cut. 
because I don't have to go around that elongated oval. And these were, um, what paint was this? I think these were jacquard paints. And I ran them through a very, the, through the mink with a very used piece of foil. So it just got some little tiny bits on there. See that? Oh, can you see it? See, it looks like a little, it's peppered on there. Um, which is actually what I was going for. Believe it or not. I wanted to check to make sure that wasn't Dave. He had a 11 hour drive on top of some tasks they had to do before they got on the road today for work travel, but he won't be there for some time yet. Where are those pretty blue shimmery stripes on the back paper, more blue? These? That's what I'm going to put in there. Is that what you mean, Allie? Where are those pretty blue shimmery stripes on black paper? All right, I'm just going to throw some of these here and there, hither and yon. Where are you going to go? I don't want you to be. Oh, hell, let's just throw it down there. It's going to cover up a little bit of the gold, but sometimes you just got to take a bite out of something you really like to get something else in there. I love these too. Of course, you know, I like my teal and purple together. That's my weakness. I have surprised myself how I've gone to um, I think it's Robin's um, influence with the earthier coffee tea dyed old wall ish kind of stuff. But I still like to throw my my uh, stuff in there with it. My black and white stripes and my purple and blue and that kind of that kind of deal. I like it to do that. And remember, it's all getting cut up. I got to remind myself all the time. Um, so you don't want these are all vertical. I don't want everything to be all, you know, all of that. Actually, I might break that up like that. And I could probably. What the hell? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. What time is it? Three eleven. Yeah, because this is oh, this one, you know, when it cuts up like this, that's going to have that can use a little variety. Or do I want to go down here? But some of that's going to get cut off. Okay, see how I talk myself in and out of this stuff. Oh, Lordy. Let's do that. And let's, um, I know there's a spot there where it's the black bit in the middle, but I don't care. Let's go right there. Actually, I could go like this and have it less. 
of an overlap. Okay, what are we gonna do with this little piece? What are we gonna do with you, you little monkey? Maybe I can put it over here further. So I'll get some of it with this, but it'll be away from here more. That's what we'll do. Oops. I like that silver bit there, though. We're just going to do this. And where it lands, it lands. All right, Eileen, Patty, when you're done, drop some alcohol ink on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to drive to Boca now. <laughs> Boot Eileen in the butt. <laughs> you little rascal. I'm not using alcohol inks on here. I might throw this in just for shits and giggles, as we say. Well, we don't all say that, but I do. I am. I like this little piece. Actually, I have more of this. This is one of those pieces. Ah, God, this stuff is sticky. This is one of those pieces when I ran out of toner. I was printing that piece of that corrugate that was turquoise and copper. And I ran out of toner. <laughs> That's how it came out. But I like it even better. So I like this against this here, too. So I think I'm going to put you right there. And this may sway the whole rest of the collage. I may. See, look. Oh, I got more I can do. No, no, no. But I'm going to need a piece of... Um, Hard stock for this one because it's too thin. Look, the card stock is sticking to my finger from the glue. One. Two, can I get three? No, so let's do a half. Oh, how am I gonna do a half? Let's do a half that way and I'll have to cut the white end off. All right. Might do a little piece of that. And I'm not going to get rid of those pictographs. I will use those for something. Guarantee. All right. Put these in my little stash over here. <laughs> Keep her in check, Joan. The little blue circle. The, this purpley one, you mean? You know what? This is going to go somewhere because I like it. I like it. So I'm putting it somewhere. And I like how misshapen this is with the torn edge. So many of these are really straight in here. All right. You know what? I think I'll put you. I don't know. Maybe right in here. So it kind of curves around that circle, overlaps this turquoise bit. Yeah, and there you are. And now I have this little rascal. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I can. I'm going to cut this and rip this in half. And we'll also have raggedy edges and be the same color family that we can throw in. See, now I'm sorry I put these on there. <laughs> uh, 
could cover it up. No, I'm not going to do it. I could go right up through here maybe with that. This is kind of a, but see, that's all up and uppy downy. Uppy downy stuff. Let's go right there, uppy downy. That'll be kind of a cool place to put that, I think. Or do I go right on the edge? Well, I have two pieces. All right. Now, where did I say I was putting this? Let's just throw it down there. What the hell, right? What the hell indeed? I think you want to go up here, but I don't want to cover that silvery bit there. Do I want to go here? It looks weird next to that. Crap. Let's go up to here. Up off of this edge and wherever it goes, it goes. Wherever it goes, it goes. That's just the way it's going to happen. Let's put this one up here on this corner. Oh, but I, man, I see, <laughs> I just can't use this, but I'm just going to make it work. It's just going to have to go on there. I got to try to get some of this off my fingers. I just picked up the whole container of baby wipes with the stickiness on there. You guys probably don't have this <laughs> issue because you're a little more neat than I am. However, right now it's all about me and my sloppy, gluey fingers. Good Lord. Okay, so I got a couple more of these. Oh, I got two more. All right, where am I going to put you? Where am I going to put you? I'm going to go over here. Maybe break that up a little bit. I, it's like, see where, where some of these, this ends, and this ends, and this ends, and that ends. I like to kind of blur that intersection of all those pieces sometimes. Maybe I'll go this way, go that way. It's going to go this way. Oops. Messier the better. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a fan blowing on, blowing behind me now, uh, Tracy. And actually, I had my, oh, that's just laying there. I had some alcohol, oh, I put it away. I had alcohol out earlier when I had my alcohol ink debacle. Z, if you're still on, did you have, did you say you had more of that red uh, metallic paste that you made that, those, um, you know, with that Chinese stencil on tissue for me. Did you say you had some of that in the shop? If you did, I missed it. Missed it. I'm actually going to break that up.
You know what I might do? <laughs> I'll show you what I might do. Just this black with a little gold. Of course, I can't see if that's straight or not, but... Um, yeah, hang on to one of those for me, Z, and I'll send you... I'll do the transaction when I get... Uh, and don't worry about rushing to ship it. I just got your other box yesterday. I know you just shipped it to me. We just hang on to it for future use. And of course, it's way off. See if I can straighten it up or if I'm just going to make it worse. I wanted the stark black edge with a little bit of gold in it. And I think I am going to cover that bad boy up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you still didn't make it. Actually, I have a um, a paper, a handmade paper that's got some really pretty blue on it that goes with this really nicely. I'll have to um, I'll have to dig that out for a future collage because I did do a collage in my book with it, and it it was really pretty actually together. But it's it's such an it's such a royal, not royal, it's more, I don't know, cobalt, cerulean, blue, blue. Not a green blue at all. No oh, hell. Um, and it does complement that. Bye-bye. See, I like that better already. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, okay. Oh, Jesus. What's that for? It's 325. I wonder what the hell I was supposed to be doing at 325. Huh. Maybe that was from during the week. I must have had a 3.30 meeting. Give myself a five-minute warning. Actually, there. Maybe I'll just cover that up too. Yeah. See how you like that. I apologize for my little blue piece of paper, but I'm not feeling you. I'm just not feeling you. Actually, that I think that paper that I'm talking about was used in one of my favorite collages that I did. I'm going to cut this off here. Get off. Get off of there. See, it needed that black on there, too. Battery's dying. Bye, Robin. <laughs> oh, look. Here's another one. So this... Hang on. That looks too too contrived to put it there. Do I want to break this up? Maybe go from there through there? I 
I'm not sure if these will end up on the same card or not. So they should come down to here. No, probably not. See, I feel like this could use... Do I have another? Okay, maybe I'll put a piece of this. Got some pictographs on there. That can't be bad. put you. Now this I could maybe throw up in there. Just have that black behind it. And then a card will be cut about like that. Uh, or not. <laughs> this is kind of dead space in here too. I wonder if I did that. And then maybe put this little short, darker piece up there. Maybe I like it with some of that white peeking out behind there. I think I like it there. So there you shall go. Oop. And this one, is that where I want to put you or do I want to put you down here? That's kind of a dead space, too. All right, let's glue it up, and wherever it drops is where she's going to go. How about that for precision? Thanks, Dar, but this is all getting cut up into ATCs. I'm trying to just keep that in mind and eyeball it for um, let's go there. I don't know why, but that's where we're going. Now, I do have one more of these if I feel the need. The need. Do I need the need? I might just drop that rascal there or no, 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 no. Huh, huh, huh. See, I'm looking at how these three end here, and I'm looking at that covering those up to make them not look like they dropped out of nowhere. Maybe I can cut this shorter and only have a little piece going through there. How about that? 
And so I was looking, I didn't want it to interfere, oops, interfere with the pictographs on that side. I think my bio rhythms are off today. God knows something's off. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go this way. I don't know why. Let's just do it. So I don't, I'm going to cover up that and that. Let's just see what happens if we do that. All right, do I need more shiny in there? Of course I do. And this will also bring some more white in there and brighten up some of the little dark spots. Like, see, this is pretty blase right there. I hate to cover up the pictographs, but sometimes that just happens. And it, actually, sometimes it makes it interesting to see an odd shape on a little corner of the card peeking out. So I'm not going to fret too much about it. <laughs> Something definitely needs to happen in here. I can tell you that right now. I don't know what that's going to be, but it's going to be something. Um, where are you going, my friend? You want to go up here, maybe? Up here. I don't know why, but I'm putting you right there. I can't tell you why. What's my time? 3.35. All right, I'm going to go another few minutes, try to plug up some of these kind of quiet, boring spots. It looks like it's pretty busy, but trust me, when you cut it up, it's going to need more. In this case, more is more. Where are you going to go? Got you on my finger now. See, I could put you right in here and cover up some of that, but I'm not going to do that. I almost did it, but I didn't. Huh. <laughs> nope, that's too much gold right there. Is there such a thing really as too much gold? I am going to put it here because it's going to hit a different card. These two will probably be on part of the same card, but that's okay. All right, Patty, have you made any stencils lately? I've been out of the loop. Um, I had a few come out the last time. Dar, my latest set of pictographs. Joan is making stencils like a maniac. And I think there might be something coming up towards the end of this month. Robin McClendon's stencils will be coming out soon. On eye stencils as well which um, I haven't seen all of them. I've seen little bits and pieces and um, they are spectacular. So whenever that happens, I'll be, um, I'll be playing with those. Um, all right, let me switch and try. Oh, I hardly have any black and white in here. Eileen! What is wrong with you? Why did you let me get that far? I'm going to put these in there because these are skinny and they can fit in just about anywhere. And make a little statement. How about if we put you right down that whole row right there?
Oh, I don't forget Eileen. I don't forget. Let me put you right there. Look at that perfect fit. Oh, tearing off pieces with my glued up fingers. Again. Um, hmm. See, I feel like I need to go across all these little bits here. Maybe, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this even thinner. Can I do it with scissors and not totally hose it up? Probably not, but we're going to try it. These will look like checks. Ish. All right. Now we can lace a little bit of this through there. Just for a lot of deli with this glue. It's so sticky. How dare you let me almost forget Eileen. That is unacceptable. Okay, now let's, let's, what are we going to do? What am I going to do with you? Is that where I said I was going to break it? Kind of right in there. Jeez, that is that sticky. I'll take you right there. And that should give me a little schmutz to put somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get the Brillo out to get this off my fingers. Uh, maybe I don't have anywhere to put this little schmutz. I'm just going to put you there. That may or may not get cut off. Um, I really need... You know what I need. I don't know where the hell this is going to go this big, but I might have to cut her in half. And that's okay. It really doesn't feel like it's mine until I throw black and white on there. I'm telling you. Trying to make that even. All right. Oh, good for you, Linda. You will love it. I promise you will love it. I'm going to drop you right down to there. Oops, zip, 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 zip. Hold on. 
and I'm going to put that black on the edge. Oh, that messed me up there a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll do something else to unmess that up somehow. <sighs> See, these should have been under something. I blame it all on Eileen, honestly. Okay, let's do this. Let's get an idea. Where have these are. That's kind of big. That's going to cover up a lot. Again, fully blaming Eileen. Three forty-five. I got fifteen minutes. Maybe I'll put that up that solid black bit. Huh. Patty, put them under a stack of papers and forget them. Never going to happen. Never. Goes up to this white one. Oh my God, it's so stuck to my fingers. <laughs> I'm just going to go overlap that black one right there so it lines up. And I'll cut those little edges off when I get to it. Oh, something just fell. Throw a little bit more of this up here somewhere. I'm going to put you right in there. I think so. I'll have to probably cut these up another time. And if I do that off camera, I'll post pictures. Where was where was I going to put you? Right in here. These look kind of weird just hanging there to me. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to cut this shorter. Speaking of shorter, April, are you still here? That picture you posted on Facebook the other day. <laughs> oh, my God. I looked at that. What is she talking about? And then I thought, oh, my God. I see what she's talking about. She's not there. That was hilarious. April is a little vertically challenged. God love her. Cute as a button. Um, she had a picture on Facebook where you stand in one of those, I don't know what it was. It was a, was it mom, Paul Kettle or something? Figures that have the face cut out where you stand behind it and put your face through it. There was a picture. I don't know if that was your son or your husband who was with you. 
in the male picture with his face perfectly in the hole. And the woman's head was hollow because she was standing behind it. You couldn't see her. <laughs> oh, God, love her. Um, you know what? I'm going to put this little bit right in there to break a little bit of that up. Forty-nine. The clock's killing me. It's breathing down my throat. All right, let's get some of this out of my way. Let me look at that from afar. Definitely needs something else. Let's grab a little bit of this black pen, or or there's this. I'm going to put a little bronze in there. Maybe that's the ticket. There's all kind of paint boogers on that bad boy. Let's do this. Just a little pouncer. And drop some dots of bronze in here where it's kind of blah. And the same thing in here maybe. And let's see. Put one right there. Just to fill in that hole a little teeny tiny bit. I have that black tulip paint, that 3D stuff. I haven't used that for a while on these. I used to always put it on them. But um, I haven't used that for a while. You know what? Now I'm going to have to put these all the way across the bottom of this because I schmutzed it. So we'll cover that up. And like I said before, this end might get cut off anyway because I end up with like a, I don't know if it's a quarter or a half an inch um, top or bottom that, that loses it. Loses the battle. Let's see, I think I need something even in here it's a little blase god forbid oh how about down this little streak of black all right see i'll be on uh hopefully pretty soon after you start or by the time you start i'm gonna go halfway on and off here Make a little scalloped edge down that black streak right there. And Get a few little black bits in here. Hey, Tam. Hey, Margaret. I'm actually just getting ready to wrap up. Uh, but Z's coming on at 4.30. 
I'm going to make a little off the edge black mark down here on either side of that. Sometimes you just need one in there. Just sneak one in. And sometimes they're more apparent when you turn it different directions that you can see the holes a little bit better. At least I can sometimes. Yeah. All right, perhaps it's best to walk away. Look, again, another day. <laughs> um, and I really like this. I showed you guys this before. It's a silver brush pen with silver metallic in it. Of course, there's not a word in English in here except for the word Japan. <laughs> Ah, what's the size? Are they ATC? Yeah, uh, they'll be two and a half wide and three and a half long. ATC size. Um, let's see. What would this look like if I put a little, put little stripes in there with this silver? These are all different sizes, but I kind of like it that way. I mean, I'm not a machine. I wonder if I can do circles in there. Oops. All different circles. <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'll just do these kind of sloppy. Actually, they're coming out better than when I tried to make them round. Until I set it. I wonder if they have this in gold. I have to look and see if they have one of these in gold, too. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just cut her up, shall we? What time is it? Four. All right, let's see where we ended up with, what we ended up with. I think I know where I am at this juncture. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get back. I won't get to put the edge on these today, but you'll get the, the gist. Cutterer here. So these go three and a half this way. Let me put this on there. Three and a half.
three and a half. I gotta talk to myself the whole way. <laughs> I'm easily led astray. So now I gotta decide do I wanna lose this or do I wanna lose this? And I'm actually liking this. So I think I'll go three and a half this way to keep this bottom bit. And then we'll sacrifice this. Now, all right, two and a half. Two and a half. Now I got to sacrifice one side or the other. And I think this side's more interesting. So we'll go this way. And we'll lose this little bit. And have that one. All right. I'll show you some of these close up in a minute. Um, <laughs> All right. This is the bottom piece. Two and a half. See how that one big circle of pictographs is on several different cards now? Oops, let me see. What do I want? Oh, that's going to be a... Ah, I like both sides of that one. But somebody's got to bite the dust. This side better if I have to choose, and I do. All right, a couple more cuts. We're calling her quits. I like this edge though, how that turned out. Here's another little bit of one of those circles. Now, all right, you're going to have to be the piece that goes. All right. Let me pull a cleaner piece out of here. So now... I got to put borders around them, but you can see some of the little bits, how they end up. Oops, damn glue, still sticky. Just got the tail end of those pictographs on that purple there. That one goes that way. I like that one. I like a lot of them. And see how that one just bordered with that little bottom and side area with the purple and blue? And here's with the most of that pictograph strip in it. This one, kind of blah. And that one dead end right there in the middle, I might put a little something-something over that. That one, I kind of like that one. I love this one. Oh, I didn't put my little silver marks around the rectangles. I can go back and do that later. But see, they don't look half bad when you get them, get it all cut up. Probably put something over here, too. That's a little wonkificated. It's a new word. Just made it up. That was the upper left corner. This one's kind of blah, although I like it. Maybe with the border, it'll look better. And here's the extra little bits. All right, and there you go. All right, kids, got to run. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Sorry it wasn't a 
more fun, better stream. My bio rhythms are a little foggy today, I guess. It has nothing to do with being up at 3 o'clock in the morning. But that's okay. All right, kids. I'll see you probably at Xandra's. Everybody for Xandra's who's um, Scraps to Beauty on YouTube, if you're not familiar with Xandra. And she'll be coming on at 4.30. So, quick break. I'll see you then. Thanks, guys. Mary, Mary Murray. That's a new name. Welcome. Hello and goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, mods. You too, Eileen. <laughs> oh, God, love you. Bye, CB, Doc, Joan, Margaret, Lori, Tam, Linda. Bye.